Welcome back to Custom Action Figures 101. I'm Rob Panic. Thanks again for joining us this week. Um, this week, we've got some paints from one of the most iconic names in all of hobby paint. We have some products from Testers. We have their Model Masters acrylic paints. We have their dull coat lacquer, um, the Model Master acryl clear coat, and, and a few of the Model Masters enamel paints. Um, and we're gonna go through a little bit and describe each one to you and, and give you a little overview of them and, and hopefully they'll, they'll help you out with choosing some good paints for your, your custom figures. And one of the first things you'll notice about the Model Master paint is it comes in little glass jars with screw on lid, little paint pots. Um, this is convenient for folks who want to just be able to dip their paint directly from the pot and do their painting. Um, I use generally a palette, um, especially for mixing paints. So I like to use a, a little eyedropper to get the paint I'm going to use. Um, going to do a little flow test here. And this is Model Masters paint straight from the jar. As you can see, uh, it's not extremely thick like a lot of your craft paints. It does have a little thickness to it. And, and that can vary from pot to pot um, depending on the age of the paint, um, wherever the store you buy it from, how long they've had it on the shelf. Uh, the paint can tend to be a little thicker. But it, it's simple to thin out. Uh, I use my standby go-to windshield washer fluid. Um, that's my go-to for thinning. And to give you an example of a couple of the differences here, um, here's an Acrylico's Vallejo. We'll put a comparable drop. You can see the consistency of it and then here is a acrylic from the army paint or war paint suit line and you can see the consistency of it um, so I mean it's it's middle of the road as far as the thinness of the paint uh, paint being thin can be a, a great advantage when you're painting custom action figures especially um, because as I've said many times before you don't really want one thick coat of paint it's better to apply several thin coats of paint and just build up until you've got the color you want uh, that, that really helps your paint bond better um, when we do apply the, the Model Masters, I mean, you can see it applies really well. Uh, we'll get a little dab here, and this is on a glass plate, so, you know, you're going to get more brush strokes seen here than, than you will on a plastic, but, I mean, it, it does have a really good coverage, um, and it's a really strong paint. You know, a lot of people, um, a lot of the customizers we've interviewed, uh, I know uh, Gene Seabold is one, uh, Pugsley, pretty much uses nothing but Model Master paint. Um, and he gets great results, and he doesn't put any kind of clear coat over the top, he just paints it, lets it cure, and it's set. Um, so that's one of the great advantages to the tester paint. Now, even though 
with Model Master Paint, a lot of people say you don't have to use a top coat or a sealer. Uh, Testers actually offers a couple of really good top coats and sealers that I highly recommend. I use them myself, um, especially you know with some of the other paints I use. Um, I use a lot of the Testers dual coat lacquer. They also have a gloss coat. Um, the dual coat is a, a flat overcoat. Um, now it is a lacquer finish. So you really have to make sure the paint is fully dried and fully cured before you use it on your figure. But as you'll see with my handy dandy bottle that's been used and used and used here. Uh, it's really simple to use. I'm gonna pull out our Wookie that we did our dry brushing tutorial with last week. And what you wanna do is, as the directions say, you apply generous coats. Um, I usually dip in, just get a little bit of the excess off. And apply a nice generous coat to the figure um, with it being lacquer especially if you're using enamel paints if your paint hasn't cured hasn't fully dried it can take the paint off so you really have to be careful with it um, you know just make sure you you don't get in a rush you you let your figure dry all the way and cure I use a, a hot box method basically I've got a a box um, with a 100 watt bulb in it I'll put the parts and pieces in there and let them cure under heat before I ever assemble the figure um, and since it is lacquer you're going to need to get some sort of lacquer thinner to clean your brushes after you use the dual coat Now they also have some acrylic top coats um, that have a flat, a semi-gloss, and a gloss clear acryl acrylic top coat. Um, these work very well also. Uh, here we have the flat clear acryl and it's going to look milky when it first comes out of the bottle um, and even when you apply it it's going to have a little bit of a milky look to it uh, but don't worry as it clear as it dries it dries to a clear finish um, the milky color actually kind of helps you a little bit because it can let you see where you're applying it but as I say you know, don't really worry about it being milky going on as it dries it's going to dry clear and it's going to leave you know a nice either flat semi gloss or clear finish uh, on your figure they also have in the Create Effects line, the Tester's Dual Coat in a spray can. Comes in a three ounce spray can. Um, it's a spray lacquer. One thing about it, be sure that you're in a well ventilated area, um, that you either have a spray booth set up or, or you're outside with it because the fumes from lacquer um, they're rough. <laughs> you don't want to be breathing in any lacquer fumes. I can promise you. So just make sure when you use the lacquer and even using the, the liquid dull coat, um, the fumes can get pretty tough from this stuff. Uh, make sure you're in a, in a well ventilated area. Um, the, the vapors and the fumes from it, um, they can be dangerous.
and the Tesla Model Master also comes in an enamel paint. Um, one thing I will caution against, enamel paints do not play well at all with soft parts of an action figure. Um, say for example, the torso is hard plastic on this G.I. Joe figure. Um, you can get away to a degree with using an enamel on the torso, but the arms, um, they're a soft, flexible type vinyl, and an enamel paint will react with that vinyl, and it will never cure. Uh, you'll think it's dry, two or three days later, it'll, it'll be tacky feeling, and it'll stay that way it's never going to cure because it's going to have a reaction with the actual vinyl that the soft parts of the figure are made out of um, but for painting like action figure vehicles or anything that's made out of hard plastic and you you'll be just fine with enamel paint uh, just be really particular on on what you're painting with it um, if you're unsure you know do a test first on something that you're not gonna mind messing up um, because I would hate to see you grab up an, an enamel paint and start painting on on your good custom figure that you know that you've worked long and hard on getting it prepped and ready just to have it you know wind up with it in a sticky mess in the end. Here's an example of a figure I painted using the Model Master acrylic paints. Um, this is a crossover Boba Fett figure, and I used the Model Master acrylic semi gloss uh, 4701. Used this paint for the body. Uh, and then some of the Model Master Silver um, for the highlights and a little bit of the Model Masters. I used gloss black to make some of the blast marks but then I went back over it with a flat finish and finished it up with a dull coat lacquer um, and it give it a nice gives it a nice dull finish um, I don't really I don't really like real glossy, shiny looks on, on my figures. You know, I like them to look like they've been through battle. <laughs> and you know, as someone that was in the army, you know, things, things aren't shiny and pretty. But as you can see, I mean, it, it, the white paints, you know, they, they really give you a nice white finish uh, and that's something that you know, that's a good test of a paint if you can get a good finish with their white then you generally got a good paint and overall I have to say you know they're they're a great paint model masters testers uh, they've been around forever they're one of the, the oldest names in a hobby paint uh, they're one of the most easy to find paints. Um, you can find tester paints um, at Walmart, Target. You can find them at Hobby Lobby. You can find them at Michaels. Um, a lot of your small hobby shops are going to carry the Model Master lines. Um, and even if the company, even if you, know, you don't have the Model Master available, you know they have tester acrylics. They work. You know they'll work great in a pinch if, if if you have nothing but a Walmart in your area. If that Walmart sells models, chances are they're going to have some tester paint, and chances are they're going to have acrylic paint. And you know if it's what you can get your hands on, by all means get it, use it. Um, you can find them on Amazon. You can find them on eBay. I mean they're they're everywhere. Um, so that's definitely a plus and like I said overall really great great paint um, really great durability 
I love their their top coats and their dull coats. They've got some really good colors. Um, the pigmentation of their paints. Um, they have a, a great selection. You can go online to their website at testers.com and they have got literally hundreds of different colors available. Um, just go check them out. That's testers.com uh, and you've got their, their full line of, of paints, washes, top coats, uh, they have brushes, they have all different sorts of products that are, are great for uh, customizing figures, adhesives, they have international military and figure enamel paints, they have metalized lacquer paints, they have auto enamel paints, they have auto lacquer paints. Um, different tools for sprue cutters and uh, abrasives and I mean it's decal solutions I mean, they they have a lot a great product line so be sure to check them out uh, thanks again for joining us here on custom action figures 101 be sure to give the video some love as always like it share it on your social media outlets uh, be sure to join us on the forum at serpentorslayer.info check out custom action figures 101 on serpentorslayer.com uh, you can also find us at custom action figures 101 on facebook um, as well as serpentors layer on facebook and be sure to check out galacticplastics.net my page and I've got a Facebook page as well galacticplastics.net until next time may the force be with you